Hi, this is Sebastian, KB0TTL. A lot of you have been asking us about our new HF products that we're going to start carrying, and this is the start of it. We'll let our adventure begin with the new Zygu G90. We've just received our shipment, and I'm gonna proceed with an unboxing. When you receive this in the mail, it weighs about five pounds, eight ounces, which is pretty lightweight for a fully featured HF rig. Let's get started. The Zygu G90 is a small software-defined radio or SDR rig. The Zygu G90 covers bands 10 through 160 meters in one watt increments from one watt clear on up to 20 watts. And that is peak envelope power. This does AM, FM, SSB, and CW modes in all of the bands. Going from our outer box to our inner box we have our nicely packaged Zygu G90 HF SDR transceiver. I've had the opportunity to use mine for about six months now. I believe it is the perfect way to learn HF. It's the perfect initial radio to get. It's not gonna set you back a whole, whole lot budget-wise. This is actually a very well-written manual uh, that I've seen from a lot of things coming overseas. A very well-written uh, manual as to some of the features that you're going to see with this radio, what the buttons are, what the controls are. We won't rely totally on this because as you know, with each Bridgecom project, uh, product, there is going to be a full Bridgecom University video series. And we're just breaking the ice here, getting this out of the box. So what we have is the power cord uh, that plugs in the back of it. Got a little Allen wrench tool uh, for which we can attach uh, some of the side plates and fittings here. A little fused power cord. Uh, this power supply for these doesn't have to be much. In fact, I was doing the full 20 watts out on mine using just a little uh, 10 amp battery pack. The battery packs that we're going to have in our accessories for these are actually 20 amp and they should keep your radio going uh, for a good one to two hours under a full duty cycle um, that is using the full 20 watts. Uh, more if you turn the wattage down to about 5 or 10 watts as you would do for QRP. Now this isn't a quick start guide. This looks like Chinese instructions of some form here. So we'll go ahead and put these underneath our manual. We have our data uh, programming cable. It's a little uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pin, nine pin serial connector uh, for the older PCs. We also have a USB pro programming. We also have a USB programming cable and uh, we use this to update the firmware on the radio. I'm gonna go ahead and get this radio out of the box here. Have our Zygu G90. So we have a digital color waterfall display. We have our volume and tuning knobs. We have our mode up and down. This is for SSB, CW, AM, or FM. That's upper and lower sideband. We have our band selector right up top here, convenient location. We have an RJ45 connection uh, here on the side for the microphone. Uh, we have the uh, RJ45 coiled cord uh, for the microphone. If you wish to use a standard piece of RJ45 for this fully featured mic, you can use a standard piece of RJ45 if you'd like to make a long reach. Those aren't included, but they're available at any computer store. Um, on the side here, we have an earphone or external speaker. And we have the connection to program the faceplate of this radio. Uh, with our Allen wrench, uh, this faceplate here actually is removable. It actually slides off. And then in the back here, to program the main unit, we have our comm connection. We have a connection for a code key. We have a data I.O. We have an accessory port here to use digital modems and digital modes. We also have in the back here a standard SO239 connector which takes a standard PL259 uh, 50 ohm connection. There are various antennas that are usable with this radio, one of which we're going to go ahead and sell in kit form, which includes a 49 to one ballon 
in Ed Fed configuration, and it's going to be one of the easiest antennas that you've ever put up. It's actually the initial antenna I picked up when I started learning on this radio back when I got my general class license this last March. I'm now an extra class and um, actually now a VE examiner. So <laughs> having a lot of fun with this, uh, with this hobby and growing quickly into it. And I think once you get started here with this radio, I think you'll see uh, why it's a great introductory radio and um, why it'd be a perfect first radio to get started here with. Uh, we have our 12 volt power connector, which of course goes to our cord here. Of course the microphone, which the microphone just plugs up real easily. RJ45 connection, flip her around here, RJ45 connection, snaps right on in there. Oh, in the back we also have a ground connection. If you go portable, this little ground connection screws off. So here you have it, an unboxing of our newest HF radio from Bridgecom, the Zygu G90. If you'd like more information about the Zygu G90, please click in the description below. If you like today's video or you're interested in the G90, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching again, and this is Sebastian, KB0TTL with Bridgecom Systems in 73.